Hey guys, it's Bart Johnson here, and tonight I wanted to make a video for you guys, sort of uh, doing a setup demonstration of some equipment that I'm testing out right now from Red Rock Micro. Now, as many of you probably know, I am an owner and operator of a DJI Ronin gimbal system, and one of the biggest issues that I've always run into is that I don't have the ability to control my focus while my camera's on the gimbal, um, and so I've been looking into wireless follow focus systems. Well, Red Rock Micro has been kind enough to loan me their entire micro remote system and all of its accessories for the DJI Ronin. So I have a review of all of this equipment so you can check out those videos. But in this video, I wanna show you how to set up this system. So for this system, I have the core components of the wireless micro remote system, which is the handheld unit, the brain or the receiver unit, and the torque motor. I'm also going to be using some of their additional accessories that they provided to me, one being their universal power pack, which allows for easy power distribution on the gimbal, and also their accessory finger wheel. If you're working by yourself and you don't have someone else to pull focus wirelessly for you, they have a finger wheel attachment where you as the operator can roll your finger and adjust focus. So let's dive right in and let me show you how to get all of this set up on your DJI Ronin gimbal system. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is get your gimbal system and camera set up um, just normally as you would if you didn't have any of this equipment we're about to attach. So you're gonna get your camera on there, get your lens on there, make sure you have cards and batteries, and you're gonna to wanna to mount a monitor of some kind so that you can view uh, your, what you're seeing as you're operating. So get all that set up first. The next step is going to be to mount the universal power pack. Um, I'm just going to use one of the clamps that comes with the DJI Ronin and I'm going to mount the power pack up where I can see the screen on it so that I can monitor my voltage while I'm operating. The next step that I do is mounting the torque motor uh, to drive the focus ring on my lens. So I use the Rhino mount from Red Rock Micro for this Canon 5D Mark III and it gives me a nice 15 millimeter rail on which to attach the torque motor. You want to make sure the teeth uh, really engage with the gears of the lens and get everything all set and snug so that it won't slip. The next step is to mount the actual receiver, sort of the central brain of the micro remote system. Um, now there are plenty of places you could mount this, but I like to use this uh, little mustache attachment here on the DJI Ronin to add a 15 millimeter rod, and I'm going to use their Collins clamp to attach it down here. Once everything is mounted onto the system, that's all of the heavy equipment that we're gonna be adding to it. You're probably gonna to have to do a little bit of rebalancing to make sure that it's easier for you to do these next steps. So you may have to make a couple adjustments along the way, just keep that in mind. So our next step is going to be starting to connect all of these things together and running our cables. Red Rock Micro has provided me with their flex cables, which are very lightweight and very flexible, perfect for use on gimbals. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is go ahead and get some power to my universal power pack. And that can plug directly into the 12 volt DTAP port uh, available on the DJI Ronin, plug that in, and then plug into the power port on the power pack. So now that you've supplied power to the power pack, you're gonna to wanna to start distributing and sharing that power. And so I like to start with the micro remote base station unit, plug into the power port there, and then plug it into one of the output ports on the power pack. Now, if you're choosing to run your system without the power pack, that's fine. It works just the same, um, but uh, what you're going to need is they make a cable that will run directly from the DTAP and plug directly into the micro remote center receiver unit. So you'll draw power and just be skipping the universal power pack. So the next step, you're going to want to connect your micro remote receiver and brain here. You're going to want to connect it to the torque motor with the included flex cable.
And at this point, I do want to mention that there is an optional uh, accessory port on the micro remote that will allow you on some cameras to purchase a cable from Red Rock to connect here and run directly into the camera and over wireless you will have start stop control of the camera but I don't have one of those cables with me today so I won't be using it. The next step is going to be running power to my monitor which is an Atomos Shogun and I can use the Atomos dummy DTAP battery to connect to the back and then plug into the power pack so that I can send power to my Shogun. Now that everything is all connected and all of our cables and equipment are mounted on the gimbal, we're gonna wanna do some cable management. So you're, you're gonna wanna go ahead and use zip ties, cable ties, or Velcro ties and clean up the cables as best you can and make sure to leave plenty of flexibility so that the gimbal still has a full range of motion. But you definitely wanna tidy things up a bit, make sure nothing gets snagged. After you're done with all of the mounting and cleaning up of the cables, you're going to want to go ahead and do a final balance of your system. Uh, again, remember, make sure you have everything that's going to be on the system in there. This includes camera batteries, this includes any filters on the lens, taking the lens cap off. Every little ounce matters to get this final balance. So now that everything is balanced and ready to go, it is time to power up the entire system. So we'll go ahead and fire up the Ronin. And the nice thing is that since I am using the universal power pack, the Ronin battery is actually going to power the power pack, which is going to share power with our micro remote system, as well as my Shogun for monitoring. After the system is powered up, I like to take the handheld wireless unit here and go ahead and flip that to on. You'll see a whole bunch of indicator lights letting you know that it is powering up and is acquiring signal with the micro remote receiver that is on the gimbal. So before you can get started using this system, you need to let it map your lens, which means knowing where the ends of your focus range are. So if you have cinema lenses or lenses with hard stops, all you have to do is push this auto calibrate button and it'll automatically drive the lens from end to end and will mark where your endpoints are for your focal range. Now, if you're using a lens like a photo lens that doesn't have hard stops, you're going to have to calibrate it manually, and that's easy to do. You just hit the calibrate button and it'll blink to you and you use these arrows up and down to adjust to your ends of your focus range and hit set on each one. And then once you're done, you've completely mapped your lens. Now, be sure to be very careful when mapping your lens because this is a very high torque motor. It's very powerful, can drive everything from small DSLR lenses to very heavy, very stiff cinema lenses. So you want to be really careful with mapping it and make sure you don't damage your lens by pushing it too far. Once you have everything successfully mapped though, you should be up and running and your wireless unit should be good to go and you should have smooth, quick, wireless follow focus control. Another handy little accessory that I mentioned earlier, if you are not going to be using the wireless functionality of this, is the finger wheel. Uh, they include this finger wheel that easily attaches onto one of the grips of the DJI Ronin. You just undo a screw, slide the handle off, go ahead and put the finger wheel on and adjust and tighten everything down where you'd like it and reattach it to the Ronin. Then use the included flex cable to run from the finger wheel unit and connect into the direct port on the micro remote receiver or brain. Um, and this will allow you direct control over the focus just from your finger. Well guys, that's it. Now you have your entire micro remote system set up and running on your DJI Ronin gimbal system. Uh, this is a fantastic system, fantastic setup. 
really easy to put together. I think the hardest part is just doing the cable management, but that's the same with everything. So it's really easy, it works very well, and I really see myself using this a lot in the future to save a lot of time and also just to be able to control focus while I'm working on my gimbal. Um, so I hope this video helps you guys out. If you have any questions about the setup, please feel free to let me know. Make sure to go and check out all of this equipment over at Red Rock Micro. And uh, if you like this channel and you like this video, please go ahead and subscribe, guys.